Rod. Hello. I'm coming for you, sis. Is that you, Rod? Hold on, Rod. Are you the spooky ghost? Come back. Be there for you. Tell me where you are, Odd. And help me find you. <laughs> Odd, I'm, I'm here, sis. What a great nightmare. I'm coming, Odd. <laughs> Odd. I found you. out the three heads that watch oh more than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her and in all that time even had never dreamed like that before do I sleep in a matchbox are we the miniatures Even knew she was now awake and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed a portrait of Uncle Jinx. Whoops. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive an image of great 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 grandmother waters she was the woman who'd invented sliced bread which made everyone very excited well before then they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves an image of great great grandfather peters 200 years ago he ate all his clothing to win a bet even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. <laughs> Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. And she had eyes and ears everywhere. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. What's that door over there? Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Odd's shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Even. She never wanted to forget her sister. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Or so she said. Like the story of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Hmm. Huh. What was their fate? Into the... the scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who slingshot. This is outside. Um, is my sister dead and now a ghost? And stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken. <sighs> Even knew her parents would be Even... heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. It doesn't even lead down to water. 
Where was that reading? What? That Sprint. glowing figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her oh. somewhere to a giant spooky boy. Man. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh. I'm on the trail of a ghost. I'm on the trail of my sister. On the trail of I don't know what it is, but it's important. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. Huh? I need to get past you, Astrid, please. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? Okay, thanks Astrid, you're the best. You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. And that's where I'm going right now. Because I'm going to leave town. And my parents are going to be pretty pissed with you because I'm not going to come back for ages, probably. What is this? This was Wongroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. What's that giant everyone, spooky eye? That is, except Even. Kids? Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. Now I'm all out of but What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Um, no, I stuck out. Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. Even if? My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. What are you all doing here? We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. Why are you all asking? So I late? couldn't sleep. My twelfth birthday is coming up. Mine too. You're I'm older than me. To roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You're getting a load of these bloobs, even. Lucky, don't be a jerk. Listen, even, it takes two to be a jack, one to be the jack, and the other to be an even bigger jack by pointing it out. My sister became a sixer and I don't think it worked out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? I think she might be sending me a message from Sixopia somehow. Yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about a one Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm done with the conversation. Whoa. Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. Do it then, bitch. Hey, shut up. 
How many paths are there I can take? Oh, there's a catfish man down there. What's this? A ladder. What's in the pipe? Is it like a map? No. So really, as a one it is the best to roll the dice when you talk about it, because you can only go up. I'll stay at one, but I mean, if one's the worst town, it's not like you can... Like rolling as a six, it would be terrible. Like you've got a one in six chance of staying at six. Oh, okay. That's good. Just let me hear. That is fine. Thank you. Hmm? There's a map. Find the ghost. Bedtime stories. Map? Map? What the heck? Oh, these are weapons. Let's see, I thought it was going to be like monsters I summoned, but it's... It looks just like my dad. Hello? You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> a ghost? Nope, a ghost. I think it might be my sister. A ghost. I don't really want to tell... I feel like she's evil. I'll just say I think it might be my sister. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall? She's in the Queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. Uh, that's what you think. That it is, that it is. But I didn't get this far by chasing after ghosts, and I recommend you do the same, even. Go on home. Your parents will be worried. Nah. They're fine. They don't care. They've already experienced one child disappearing. I'm sure they'll be good at it now. There. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. What's this? Hello? I feel like maybe I should have spoken to that guy back then. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Why, spirit? Oh, that's the big bad wolf. Random rules, even. Random. Well. Well, well, well. Look at you. What about me? So far from home. And all alone. You're lucky the Queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? Um, I'm really just looking for a ghost here. Enlighten me. The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her. Because you know a rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> well, that's good news. Okay, thanks, bye. She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, up riding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. Um, I really do need to go now. You can't escape her, you know. No one can. It's all perfectly designed. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. Ghost. 
come back. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Um. Why? I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the queen came and made me rule. Call myself a one. She told me I was born in the wrong town and now I'm here. And I'll never get back there again. That's not fair. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. That's what my mom always used to say. Before she... Before I... Well, it's uh, ancient history now. The queen works in mysterious ways, and it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice, knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one, gosh. <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. Have you seen any ghosts? By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. <laughs> I don't need more of them. See you around, kid. Okay, later. Thanks for the chat. Death to the monarchy, I guess. Ding. So I have unlimited rocks. Do, do, ghost. Oh, I'm stuck. Slow down for a second. That strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. Oh, is that like finish up what I'm doing in this town? Too late. Let me jump down. Town over. Ooh. There's a frog. And because we're tiny, I guess it's the giant frog. Yay! Giant frog. A death. Du, 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 du. It's a dice. You right, sir? You seem injured. Oh. Let me help. I've come to help you, but only immediately outside of the town. You've got giant hands. What big fingers you have. They're the size of me. Going inside the dead. Die. To die. What the heck are those? Crickets? Mysterious playing cards. They're beautiful painted and in some angles they even seem to glow blue. Some curious little pip creatures with two legs hopping about. Hmm. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. Is it my sister? The harbor. Okay, she wants me to board the ship. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before. Or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning for something new. Mm hmm. Sir, don't mind me, I'm just gonna board this ship. Oh, those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself? Leave me alone. Resuit yourself, Missy. I ain't gonna force you into doing anything you don't want to. Oh, but before you go, a word of warning. 
Be careful out there, Macy. The night's the night the junk collectors come. His boat's here, and the guards over there don't let nobody close. The harbor's hiding secrets tonight, Missy. What do they do here? Is it dangerous here? Ain't nobody safe when the queen's on the throne. This is safe travels. Oh. oh, my conversation ended. Oopsies. What do we have up here? A search line. Jesus, we're fine. Um, oops. Okay, I don't know what this is. A reward, a storybook page, illustration, doc worker. Can I get down over here? No. Oh wait. Do I go this way? No. Yeah? Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. I was close. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, oh, Lord, it's terrifying. Can I grab this? No, I can never down there. But. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Hey, oh. boss! We got some kids sneaking around here! No! Where the hell? Where did it put me? Oh my god. Well, that's a bit bullshizen. over there. Oh my. I have to run over there? That is annoying. Uh, uh, annoying, annoying. That, that's annoying. That, that's annoying, annoying. Oh. Oh no. That's annoying. That's, that's. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, uh, mm, 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 uh. Okay. There we go. Just. Oh. It's fine. Grab this. Bam. Tab. This. Read story. Oh god. Something A happened. long time ago in random, dice were everywhere and used to decide everything. Wondering what to wear, what to create, who to become. Any question, as long as it could be answered with a number, could be found by the spark of magic contained within the dice. And the king and queen of random were, well, decent to good. Life was wild. Life was free. Life was random. Mm -hmm. Oops. When they were ready, or when they were brave enough, the most courageous and random would embark on a great adventure, making their way to the Valley of the Dice. There, in that sacred place, they would choose the dice that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Although, some would whisper that the choice wasn't fully theirs to make. Oh. 
No more pages. Escape. Tab. Go, 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 go. Time to lower this. Okay. And then the main quest is just here. Excellent, excellent. Oops, oops. I'm struggling. That was weird. Oh, my days. I am not good at slight inclines. Is that like move? No? Stuck? Okay. No, oh, no, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Oi. No. Let me. Let me on. Don't do this to me, sir. Well, thanks for pointing this out. No! Go away! Who are you and why are you so away? Please let me in. I'm trying to hide. What do you think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of ad lubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. What? What is this? It means something that's delightful. Like my room here. I... Wow, you really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. But there are no other spots. There are no... Well, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. <laughs> Please, Herman. My sister's in trouble. I have to get aboard this boat. Oh, for the love of... Uh, fine. Fine, you little, little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Thank you. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. Same goes for you, sir. Now, don't make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. I'm on a quest, too. My sister was kidnapped a year ago. I can't actually select either of these. Shh, sh quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules <laughs> one and three. No, I'm an expert, I swear. Okay, I've got to sleep. I kind of want to talk to him all that. You're already breaking rules. You started and talking free. to me. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Adam, see? I'm headed for the cardmaker district. Uh, five Tropolis, so... Whatever the queen's calling it these days. And I'm off to find my sister. Didn't he go show you the way? Quiet, kid, or he'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. No. Okay, I'll go to sleep, sir. Sorry. I'm gonna keep it down. I'll, I'll be quiet. I'm going to bed. And she'd let herself think about it even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. With a psychic. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. <laughs> 